Okay, what is up guys and welcome to the 17th video in this series. In this video, we're just going to get this high score label working here. So um, all we want is when we run into one of these walls, we want it to save the high score to our game. So that when we exit out and get back in, we have that same high score. So to start here, let's go into um, our game over function that we made just to make it so we make this points label the same as this uh, when, the, when the game is over there. So let's go into game scene and uh, game over here. And let's do, let's save everything kind of at the end of this function. So I'm just gonna make a comment saying, um, save current points label value. And now we're gonna grab our points label and our high score label. So I'm gonna say let points label equal child known with name points label as ML points label and let high score label equal child known with name high score label. So now we want to check if um, if our high score label, oh, it's giving me, oh, we have to like force that down cast there. So be sure to put that in there. That's the new Swift syntax. Um, they switched it over in the middle of this tutorial series. So just watch out for that. So um, now we just need to make sure that our high score label um, isn't actually higher than our points label, because if it's higher, we don't actually want to change it. So I'm going to say if high score label dot um, number is great is actually I'm going to say is less than points label dot number. That is the only time we actually want to do something. Otherwise, um, we just we don't want to even mess with the high score at all. So if it's higher than that, we're going to say if our points label is higher than the high score label, I'm going to um, actually, instead of setting both the text and the number of our high score label, let's actually just create a function to do that to make it simpler. So let's go into our ML points label class and we're gonna create, uh, we're gonna create another function that's just going to be func um, set to, and we're gonna have a parameter of number here, which is gonna be an int. So we're gonna say, when we pass in this number, all we wanna do is make our self.number equals number, and I'm gonna change this to num just so you guys don't get confused. Um, but this is totally applicable. If we say self.number equals number, this number is gonna be the parameter, this number is gonna be our variable up here. But just to be clear, let's do that. And um, we're also going to change the text of our label. So I'm going to say text equals self dot number there. Cool. So now if we go back into our game scene class file, we can say high score label dot set to uh, points label dot number. So that's going to change our high score label. But if we exit out of this or if we restart the game, you're going to notice that it's not actually going to save our high score. So in order to actually save it, what we want to do is we want to use something called NS user defaults. It's a really simple way of saving things um, because all we need to do is save one value. So, um, so we're going to use NS user defaults. If you were to save a lot of different values with a lot of different relations, generally you use something called core data, but in this, it's just not necessary. So I'm going to say um, let defaults equals NS user defaults dot standard user defaults. And so generally this is used for saving user settings. So um, it just kind of keeps the preferences of the user. You can also say, but you can really save anything you want within it. And it's a really simple way to do this. So let's say um, defaults dot set int integer. We're gonna say um, high score label dot number for key high score. So just like that, we've essentially saved our high score. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to make sure that when this view loads, um, we need to make sure that it loads this in here. So let's go up into our did move to view method. And we have to make sure we add this after the um, add points label function, which is uh, pretty simple. We can just add it right here. 
And I'm going to say, create a separate function actually, just to keep this clean. I'm gonna say load, um, load score or load high score. We're gonna go down here, func load high score. And same thing. So we're gonna get the standard defaults. So defaults dot standard user defaults. And for a high score label, oh, we actually we have to grab our high score label first. So let's say let uh, high score label equal child node with name high score label as uh, as ml points label. I'm going to say high score label dot set to. And we're going to set this equal to the defaults dot um, dot integer for key high score label or high score because that's what we saved it as. So um, with that, as long as we, oh, and again, this force downcasting thing, that's kind of throwing me off, but uh, sweet. Now we should be good to go. So if I tap, I'm going, boom. So it looks like our points label moved over to our high score label. And now when we restart, it looks like our high score is saved. And now if you exit out of this and you get back in, it should still save that high score that you have. Um, as you can see there, because it's, uh, it's stored in this user defaults thing. If you want to actually erase the score completely, you click stop here up in the top left and you just want to delete the actual app here. So you have in the simulator kind of this home screen Delete that, and when you rerun it, it should give you um, a clean slate in terms of your high score. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.